Well, hello there, Taurus. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot. I'm a witch and a tarot card reader, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Taurus for the week of April 18th. If this one isn't resonating so much, go ahead and check out your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You may want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. If you are involved with the Taurus, uh, keep in mind the energies can be reversed for you. If you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my details down below in the description box. We're looking at the overall energy here, Taurus, and boy, is this going to be a doozy of a reading. Then we're going to check out your person. I'll clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Um, please like and subscribe while I have you here. I post weekly on YouTube. And if you want the extended reading, click the join button down below. It's 10 bucks. You get access to all of the extendeds for every single sign for uh, an entire month. All right. So, oh, Taurus, uh, what the crap did this person do to you? We've got the everything is fine card or the 10 of swords in the modern witch tarot. It's being stabbed in the back. Um, it's being hurt by somebody. It's being, it's a betrayal kind of a card. It's also kind of like you're 120% done with somebody. We have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Yeah, I would say so. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. We've got the five of pentacles. It's being left out in the cold or leaving somebody out in the cold. It's a, also a feeling of like lack and loss, maybe feeling like there wasn't enough time for you in this relationship or the person didn't give you their energy or just a lack of feelings here. It's, it's being left out in the cold. And what's really disturbing, we've got the justice card in reverse here. That's Libra energy. Justice card in reverse is like someone being shady uh, someone being unethical. Sometimes it's legal problems. This person could have legal problems. Um, or just generally kind of a lying liar who lies. We've got the magician. This is Aquarius, Gemini energy, a little bit airy sometimes. Uh, the magician is associated with Mercury and communication. Uh, it's usually being very intentional with your words. In the reverse, they're still being intentional with their words, but it's they're weaving illusions for you. They're telling you what you want to hear. Uh, whatever they tell you, I would verify it. Um, it's kind of the used car salesman vibe with the magician in reverse. And we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Again, there's a sense of lack here with that card. So maybe feeling as if they never loved you or they didn't love you enough or they didn't love you the way that they wanted to. Or maybe you're kind of feeling ugh about the person. You left them in the cold. You're not feeling the love anymore here. Um, regardless, somebody did something bad here is what it looks like. All right. Uh, let's check out their energy a little bit closer. Oh, and the hits keep on coming. Um Wow. All right. So we've got the moon here, Cancer and Pisces energy. The moon is things that are hidden, uh, things that are secrets. Uh, this person could also be a liar and have a lot of secrets. It's showing up with the seven of swords. Sometimes this is a card about like anxiety or depression or fears. Other times it's just straight up someone being shady when it shows up with the Seven of Swords, I tend to lean towards the shady interpretation, particularly with the Five of Swords here. Five of Swords can be someone who gaslights you. There's conflict between the two of you. Um, the Five of Swords is like manipulation, gaslighting, uh, saying like the worst possible thing in a fight. It's like hitting someone below the belt. It's a real nasty fight with somebody. Eight of Swords is self-limiting behavior and self-sabotage. For some of you, um, the Eight of Swords is like my karmic tie kind of a card, particularly when it shows up with the devil. I'm sort of shocked the devil didn't show up here. Um, there could be a karmic tie between the two of you. Seven of Cups here is uh, confusion, illusions, delusions. For some of you, this person was a cheater. 
they have other options with the seven of cups or this person is like telling you, you know, they're in love with you. They want to be with you forever, but their actions aren't matching their words. Mm, yeah. Page of cups. So cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this could be a younger water sign. This person may also reach out to you and talk to you, but I wouldn't believe anything that they said. Again, I don't think this person's on the up and up. I think you already know that if this is your reading. All right, so let's see what this person's up to or what's going on here other than lying. All right, we've got the emperor in reverse, Aries energy, the divine masculine, the father, the husband. So the emperor in the upright brings order to chaos. He can be kind of a control freak or kind of like to be in charge, but it's never usually a bad thing. It can sometimes be like traditional energy. The emperor in reverse is either like a day late and a dollar short, like it's, it's someone who's a hot mess, they're chaotic, or it's someone who's a control freak in the extreme, like they want everything their way. Take that as it resonates. Either one of those uh, is a possibility with this person. All right. Oh, three of pentacles in reverse, third party energy. Oh, okay. Nine of pentacles, someone who is super, super selfish. Princess of wands. Hold on. And the eight of wands fell. All right. Let's take a look at all these cards flying out left and right. All right. Um, Princess of Wands is Leo Sag Aries energy. It could be a younger fire sign that you're dealing with or someone who's less mature. Princess of Wands is also communication. Uh, someone who, like, with the Eight of Wands here, they're going to reach out to you. They want to talk to you. I think they probably want you back, but I would be very, very cautious. We've got the Nine of Pentacles, which is selfish energy. Um... Three of Pentacles in reverse is someone who's not working with you. They're working against you. That's kind of like the two of us are giving to this connection. We're building something here. This is more someone who's selfish. Uh, they probably want you back here, but you would be invited back for more of the same. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that call. Let's put it that way. I don't think that this person's on the up and up. I don't think they're going to make you happy. I think they would probably like to have you back as an option here. But they would probably be juggling you with other people. Okay. All right. Yeah, we've got the seven of swords. Ugh. The seven of swords a lying liar who lies, and we've got the lovers in reverse. This is Gemini energy. There's a lot of swords here. Some of you, this could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. Lovers in reverse, though, is someone using their head and not their heart. Like this relationship had potential. There were a lot of um, like places this could go, but it, it didn't end up going that way. Probably because this person is more concerned about themselves. So... This doesn't look like the best connection for me. I will say that we have a full moon coming up in Libra. And if you want to release some energy and this, what I'm seeing here, this is all begging for a release. Um, that eight of swords needs to be in the reverse. Like this needs to be let go because I don't think that this is a healthy connection. Um, take a salt bath that night, get some Epsom salts, some sea salt, um, like write a letter to this person, um, what you liked about the relationship and what you didn't like about the relationship and then burn the letter, do it in a safe way. Don't burn your house down, like do it in a flame proof vessel, do it in your sink, do it outside. Don't set the, you know, the woods on fire near you either, but let go of this energy. Full moons are good for releasing and letting things go. Um, I don't think that this is a healthy relationship. In the extended, I want to see what this person's intentions are and if they're going to take any action towards you. Yeah, we've got the fool in reverse. Um, they want to make a fool out of you. That's Aries energy. We've got the high priestess. Uh, that is Pisces energy. That's sometimes not a bad card, but it can... 
it can mean someone who's kind of quiet, but it can also mean someone who's keeping secrets. Uh, someone who's acting like a fool. They're being secretive. They're sneaky. They're shady. You already know this if this is your reading. So just be cautious. And I want to see in the, the extended if you're going to have new love coming in here. Because Lord, I hope so. All right. Thank you so much and blessed be.